Hi, YouTube family and um, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I had had a, a lot of um, experiences, spiritual experiences lately with signs and wonders. Um, and I just put out a video on um, the gold dust that I experienced yesterday after Mass and Adoration. Um, I just wanted to share um, this picture with you. This is from a holy um, healing mass that I had experienced the gold dust on me after the mass. I wanted to show you that picture because I know um, people may doubt. And um, so I wanted to share that with you. That was from a mass at St. James the Last and Brother um, Carmelo Cortez comes here every year and does a healing mass. Um, he is a visionary and he, um, back in 1991, he had a vision of Mother Mary and um, she told him to pray um, for the conversion of souls and pray for the church, pray for priests. And also um, he gives out different, um, he takes a big vase full of white rose petals and after the mass he puts one under each person's lapel and I've been there several times and um, he they actually turn into biblical pictures so this one is from last year I believe um, it says JHS which I did Google search JHS and that is the monogram name of Jesus. You can see here at the bottom, there are fish going one this way and the head of this one going this way. This um, is the chalice and this is the host, the Eucharist. So that was one of, this is actually a rose petal. It's white and it turns into a an actual biblical picture, which is super cool. Um, this one is one that I received, um, I believe last year. This is actually the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I took the picture and downloaded it onto my screen here. If you see this, this is actually the Sacred Heart of Jesus on a rose petal. And I'll keep going with this so I could share them all. This is uh, the one I received this year um, is St. Pio, uh, St. Padre Pio was a priest who is, and you could see like a beard and um, all that, so that's kind of cool. Um, he was a stigmata. He suffered the wounds of Christ for over 50 years. He is um, has an incorruptible body. There are saints of the of the church that have incorruptible bodies. This is actually a picture that I tied in together with the rose petal. This is his face now, um, his incorruptible body, and um, also the rose petal. So I wanted to share that. Um, these are just something, I have another one. I do not have it uploaded as of right now, but these are from Brother Carmelo Cortez's um, healing masses. You can Google search Carmelo Cortez. He is from the Philippines. And um, there's also some other things I want to share real quickly here. Um, I went to a farm recently in Kentucky. It's a beautiful farm. Um, it's called Mary's Farm, but it also has the Stations of the Cross. And um, so I, I took a picture of the clouds and of the sky because the guy that runs the farm said that a lot of people end up receiving signs from this actually from the the farm and i and i just remembered that i had forgotten to post one on here so there's one and if you look um let me do the original let me backtrack and do the original so I was praying and I was alone there other than the caretaker of the place and I said just basically like 
are you here with me? Um, and I came back and I didn't see this on my phone. This is off of my phone. And I came back and got into my prayer closet and got into prayer. And I said, wow, you know, like I see, um, I see Mary's face in this picture. So I don't want to blow it up too much because I think it distorts, but you could see in the clouds there, um, there's like a pink aura around this. And I distinctly see, uh, the profile of her face um, so that I wanted to show you that and then also I went back and my god sister said well you can see Jesus in this too and which is super cool so she has a way to circle them I think if, if you make them too big you distort the picture but as you can see here there's Jesus's head it's like a profile from the side his nose his beard it almost looks like he has a crown, but um, there's her face. Um, I wanted to share those with you because um, even though, you know, in, that the signs and wonders will increase, especially for the unbelievers, I believe that even the believers um, get signs just to stay encouraged. This is a very difficult time for a lot of people that have um, prophetic gifts because... Um, you know, we get attacked a lot, um, prophetic people, spiritually and by even other brothers and sisters in Christ. Anyway, this is a cross that I saw in the sky. I don't know why it's, um, it's kind of glaring, but in the actual picture, you could see a cross. And I think maybe I need to back out a little bit. Anyway, that's... Um, that's in the, these are all from my phone, by the way. It's not from, and I'm not like trying to make anything out of nothing. I am just, I just happen to be there and I will see something and I'll just take a picture of it real quick in the sky. So this is uh, a prism, a pr I call them prisms, rainbow prisms. And I see those a lot. Um, my, my, sign from the Holy Spirit is clouds. I get a lot of cloud formations um, like hearts. So I wanted to share a couple of these with you guys. Um, just to encourage you, you know, heart is kind of my sign from the Holy Spirit. You could see it right there. There's a heart there. It's just driving towards these clouds and I was like, wow, okay. Thank you, Lord. And um, so I have so many different um, hearts and things like that. Um, this one started to kind of break apart here, but I, I believe I was on a bicycle ride on that one. Um, so I see these things all the time, and I just feel like the Lord said, uh, those who have eyes to see will see. Um, there is an extra one that I definitely want to show you. And... Um, now my tra my computer's going to be giving me issues here, of course. All right. Well, I will end this video and do a, like a part two um, just to show you these things. God bless you all. Pray about it. And I love you all.